What's up YouTube? It's Elijah Wan Dream and we're back again with another NBA 2K24 new gen video. And in today's video, we are going to be showing you how to get the juice perk, accelerator, and mamba mentality. It is actually very, very easy itself to get juice perk once you unlock the quest to get it. Now to unlock the quest, it is definitely a pain in the butt, but I will show you guys how to get it and some methods to do that. But first things first, I gotta give a big shout out to Ofab on YouTube. I watched his video on how to get accelerator and he did show me a few easy methods or easier methods to be able to get some of these challenges done that we need to complete. However, in a lot of these videos, they don't show you how to get the juice perk and a lot of people are wondering how do you even unlock the quest to get the juice perk and it's same thing with the extender. Now what you're going to want to do is to actually make a dummy build just like I did and Ofab also did this as well and it is 100% the easiest and best way to do this. Unfortunately, it will cost you about 30k BC. Unless you already have a lockdown build, then you should be absolutely fine. But you can make this build with 30k BC into it and you should be able to complete actually all of the challenges. And just to show you guys my screen here, we do have Mamba Mentality, we have Decelerator, Minimizer, Suppressor, Saboteur, Second Chance, Sponge, Extender, Juice Perk, which I can't wait to try in my center builds. I haven't tried this out yet in Wreck or anything. I wanted to make this video before I did that. Stay Warm and of course the one that quite a few people will be after, Accelerator, and I think this is going to be very OP this year. I actually never had Accelerator last year so i'm excited to try it out this year i think especially on the seven foot three toxic inside masher you get that quick takeover and the mamba mentality it's gonna be pretty op and unfortunately we don't know exactly what the exact attribute rating boosts we get from juice i talked about this in my last gameplay video with the seven foot three toxic inside masher normally in past 2ks you could go into a career game press start bring up the box score click on your player and go to attributes and it would show all your boosted attributes and what they are when you were in takeover this year unfortunately it just shows you your base rating so i have no idea how much this is increasing and i have no idea how much this combines with the mamba mentality because it boosts all your categories i'm not sure what the secondary category boosts is from mamba mentality and i'm not sure how much juice increases that and i'm not sure how much juice increases your primary attributes and the takeover that you activated as well so there's still a lot of unknowns with this but i'm super excited to try it out i think it's going to be very very op on some builds and like i said the juice perk is like putting nos into your build if you guys watch fast and furious you hit the NOS switch, your car goes fast, you're getting the peak performance that absolutely pushing that car to the limits. Juice is pretty much pushing your build to the limits and getting the most potential you can out of it. So I love to run this perk. I ran it all of last year. It really can turn your build into something different and special. And I'll bring it up on the screen here. So the actual juice challenge is to just win 20 games in the streetball court, or you can win 20 games in any affiliation. And make sure you guys read because it does say complete any objective. So you don't have to get 20 wins in the streetball court and 20 wins in any affiliation it's one or the other and one more important note about the juice perk the way that i unlocked this challenge was i beat the suppressor challenge once i got the suppressor perk that unlocked my ability to go and talk to donovan mitchell i know a ton of people have had questions about that how do you talk to donovan mitchell after i beat the suppressor quest the cade cunningham one it's just like the suppressor so i'm gonna show you guys a method on how to get the shots well defended i think i figured out what registers it didn't exactly do it every time but most of the time it did register but as you can see here i had 50 shots well defended in the street ball court and 50 fast breaks well defended in the street ball court street ball court as well but you could have done any two of these so you could have got 50 shots well defended in an affiliation and you could have got 50 shots well defended in the street ball court totally up to you that's probably going to be the easiest but i decided to go with the fast breaks well defended to get it done in the street ball court but this one is probably the most annoying one to get i can't lie that one and getting the 40 steals that was incredibly annoying but i'll show you guys what i did as well to hopefully help you guys get some steals but like i said i would highly recommend making this dummy build it will help you out a ton and apparently i have 10 of 9 takeover perks unlocked because i guess accelerator would be the 10th one and the extender challenge that is actually 75 assists i'm not sure why it doesn't show up there that is actually extremely easy to get and you can definitely get it on this dummy build as well but the way i got the extender challenge to pop up was after i beat the shoot 80 percent on six field goal attempts or more so once i completed that perk then this unlock and i was able to get extender which is super easy i'll show you guys an easy method as well 
So I'm gonna show you guys how to make this dummy build properly. So you wanna go to shooting guard, you wanna go six foot eight, you wanna max out the weight because the dude that you're going to be playing against, the disco dude, he has bulldozer and like gold or hall of fame. So the more weight that you can get, the better. And of course you wanna max out the wingspan so we can get that 96 steel rating. So you wanna click continue. And what you actually wanna do, you wanna completely max out all of your defensive stats. So you wanna go 99 interior defense, you wanna go 92 perimeter defense, you wanna max out your steel, you wanna max out your block, but you don't have to worry about the rebounding. It's just a block, steel, perimeter defense, and interior defense. When you have these at a very high level and you make a 60 overall, they're already increased. Like you're getting 70 plus in all of these categories and you do not have to put any VC into this. The only one you have to put VC into is 96 steel. And the next thing that I would do was max out your pass accuracy. So you're gonna start with an 81 pass accuracy, I believe. And this will allow you to complete the extender challenge no problem and get those 75 assists easy even on a 67 overall build. And what else I would do, I would increase my speed, max that out, and you for sure want to max out your strength because like I said, this disco dude that you play against, he's only like 5 foot 10, but he's got to have like a 92 strength or something for Hall of Fame Bulldozer because he goes right for you and it can be hard to get contests. And everything else you can really put wherever you want. You can put your vertical up so you can get more rebounds or blocks, whatever you want to do and put the stamina there. That's totally up to you. So you can click continue and it's going to come out to a two-way pass first wing, I believe. So it comes out to a two-way pass first two guard. So I did end up making this a little bit slightly different than the other build, but still, it's exactly what you need. You just need that defense and that passing, and you should be able to complete most of your challenges. And here's my build that I upgraded. So mine's called a two-way pass first wing because I actually went small forward, but it doesn't matter. Small forward, shooting guard, six foot eight, max wingspan, max weight, it doesn't matter. You're gonna get the same ratings anyway. So first things first, I'm gonna show you guys how to get this suppressor challenge done. Now to unlock these initial challenges, you just have to the street ball games i'm not exactly sure which games unlock which but they're pretty random but you do get some cool clothing items out of it but once you beat this perk challenge then juice should pop up or that's what happened for me anyway and the shots well and the fast breaks well defended is unbelievably annoying what has to happen is you can shoot up a shot anything it doesn't matter and then you have to be the one to get a good shot contest or a block register on the opponent's shot attempt on the fast break so it is super Super tedious and super annoying to try and get but I'll show you guys a little method that I believe was working for me and it would get me about one to two of these registered a game and another tip you just want to keep playing this disco dude every single time and I actually went up went and played this dead eye dude because of the steals it's very hard to try and steal the ball from disco so I was trying to play against some other players but disco has the worst teammates and the shortest teammates so they were a little bit easier to steal from so I just kind of switched the matchups and I would try and attack the ball handler off an inbounds and you guys will see what I mean once I get to that point. And the location of Disco is very simple. It's at Sunset Park, which is in the top left corner of the map. It should even be on your legend. So if you want to go there, Sunset Park, you can put a waypoint on it, click X if you want, whatever you want to do there. But this is where you will find Disco. But I always put Deadeye in and I'll put John in and we'll hop into this game. So now this is also another reason why I'd recommend making a dummy build because for the fast breaks well defended, all you wanna do is chuck up shots like crazy. So if you're using one of your main builds, your percentages and hot zones, they're gonna be all messed up and you don't wanna lose badges or anything. So you wanna shoot a shot, anything, and you wanna pick up the ball handler and try to get it to switch onto you. Or if you wanna catch up and try and play some help defense, what you need to happen is you need to get a good shot contest or a block to register on their fast break attempt. That's what I found to work the best or that was popping up in those challenges. I would quit after every single game and check my progress and I'd usually get one or two a game doing this method. So really easy. You can let them score or whatever just to make the time go by faster. But if you need those shots well contested anyway, then you can go ahead and contest them. Or if you need the blocks, you can just try and bait them into driving. And once again, you can get some blocks with this. You do have a 72 block or high 70s block in any way, but you can also increase the interior defense up to a 72 too, so you can get that silver anchor or bronze anchor whatever it was but still come down on offense shoot anything doesn't matter and what you want to do is pick up the person who rebounded the ball fortunately that is going to happen quite a bit too you will shoot some air balls and it is a little bit of a waste of time once again you want to come down the court you just want to get to the three-point line or whatever try not to air ball and then you want to pick up the ball handler and hopefully it switches it onto you and you want to try and bait them to go in and drive and then you can get an easy block or an easy shot contest and it has to be you that contests the shot 
shot. If your teammate gets a steal or the shot contest, it will not count towards that progress, I believe. Because there was a few times where my teammates would have good shot contests or they would steal it and I only got like one that game and that was because I contested a shot. But still, get just get the ball, chuck it up, doesn't matter. Then you want to pick up the ball handler, hopefully it switches on to you, and then you want to get him to drive to the rack like this. And unfortunately, I did foul him. I jumped a little bit too early. But if I timed that correctly, I could have got a block or a good shot contest. And the ball has to miss as well. If it goes in, I don't believe that counts as well. So you have to get a good shot contest or a block. And make sure that it does not go in. Right there, it would have been easy or it could have been really nice to get it right there. But again, get the ball down here. Chuck up some garbage. Find who gets the ball and you want to try and switch on. Oh, my teammate gets it right there. Just keep calling for the ball, bring it up the court, get it to the three-point line, shoot it. Hopefully, they, you don't airball it. Pick up the ball handler. Unfortunately, they do pass it sometimes, but if you can help and try and get a good shot contest, unfortunately, we are only that 67 overall, and Disco makes some pretty crazy layups, so he still made that one, but if we got a good shot contest, that should have counted. Once again, get the ball, chuck up some garbage, try and pick up the ball handler. Hopefully, it switches you on to them. If not, just try and pick him up. See, get a good shot contest or a block that should register as a well-defended fast break right there. And just keep doing that, hitting the ball, shooting it up, picking up the ball handler, and you wanna try and light pressure them to try and make them go towards the rack so you can get a good shot contest. That's the best mess method that I found. It is still very time lengthy and getting the juice perk badge and accelerator is very time consuming. It will take you a day or two, especially for the steals and well-defended fast breaks. It is super annoying, but it is going to be worth it. I'm very excited to try out the badges or the badge perks. Once again, get the ball, shoot it over those, hits the rim, try and pick up the ball handler. Hopefully it switches you on to the correct person. Unfortunately, it does not there and they get an open look. Now you are going to lose a ton of games doing this well-defended fast breaks, but that does not matter. You just want to keep farming those challenge points and get it as fast as you can. So once again, just chuck it up. Pick up the ball handler, which is Disco this time. Hopefully you can let him drive in. Unfortunately, they have a really good fast break once again. So you are going to lose a ton of these games, but you just want to keep farming these attributes or these challenge points, whatever you want to call them. So just keep shooting up crazy shots. Watch the rebound, pick up the ball handler. Hopefully the arrow switches on to you or you can help try and help get a good shot contest. Unfortunately, that will not count because it went in. You have to get a good shot contest or a block and make them miss and you have to be the one to get the registered good shot contest or anything like that so once again just come down the court keep chucking up that bs pick up disco he's a ball handler try and force him to the rack sometimes he will stop and do that kind of stuff too but see he will blow by you and dunk on you of course but that's the best way that i found to get this well defended fast break shoot those crazy shots watch where the rebound goes pick up the ball handler try and force him to the rack or let him get a lane to the rack come in the last second good a shot get a good shot contest or a block and it is going to take you a very long time to do this it's so many games i bet it took me like i don't know 50 to 75 games i bet something like that it's it's very time consuming so now I lost every single game that I did this, but that doesn't matter, it still counts. And I would click quit after every single game. I'm not sure if you click retry if it doesn't count, but I click quit after every single one, and then I would go check out the quests and see how it registered. So then we ended up getting 50 out of 50, but it took a very, very long time. Next, I'm going to show you the method for the 40 steals. Now what I did or found the most effective was after we got a bucket, you would pressure the inbounds and try to attack the ball handler on on the ball hand side and try to get some bump steals once again this took a very long time and the blocks are very very easy you can do that in this build especially play against disco all you have to do is bait them into driving and they'll come into you and you get some easy blocks that takes no time at all and you can definitely do it on this build too and so what i do as well like i said i tried out a different street ball game against somebody else to see if it was easier to steal against but disco has the worst teammates out of all of them so they are the easiest to steal against but what i would do was switch the matchup so i'm guarding the 74 overall and my 93 can guard disco who's a 90. so the more that the ball is in his hands the more likely that i can get steal chances so if you're gonna go for the steal challenge definitely recommend switching up the matchups because disco is very hard to steal the ball from so what i ended up doing was saving some footage see right there get a nice assist they get the ball i inbound it i have my defensive takeover on as well and i want to attack the side see right there got a nice little rip thankfully that was my 40th steal right there sorry so as you can see 
just get a bucket and then you want to pressure the inbounds and you want to try to attack the ball hand side square right stick whatever it may be right here the right stick actually ended up working for me i believe and we ended up getting that steal another example here pressuring the inbounds you always want to pressure the inbounds and especially at the top of the three-point line when they're inbounding the ball you can spam square and try and get some steals right there i bump into his ball hand side get a nice little bump steal that's pretty much how i got all of my steals is just bumping into the ball handler and getting those cheesy little bump steals but it is very tedious it is very time consuming it takes a long time you have to play a ton of games but that's really the only way you're gonna have to get some steals and they do pass around the ball pretty well so it does get really frustrating once again more clips we got a bucket i'm pressuring the inbounds i want to see who they're inbounding it to they inbound it to him and you want to try and steal it from these players as well it's very hard to steal from disco so you want to try and get the ball in the other two people's hands that's on his team they give up the ball a lot easier it is very hard to blitz or attack disco you want to try and do it on these other two people that are just terrible see right there i got on the ball hand side and i was able to get a bump steal another clip we get a bucket once again pressuring the inbounds and i want to see where the ball is i want to run across his arm get a nice little bump steal just like that it doesn't happen every time like i said i only got one or two steals a game doing this as well so you're gonna have to play a ton of games once again off the inbounds pressuring it trying to get a steal off the inbounds like this but once again it's one of these other terrible players that actually has the ball and nice little behind the steal right there it's very rare to get steals on disco like i said it's very rare to get steals on disco but disco has the worst teammates so it's easiest to get steals on them and i would switch my matchup so that i'm guarding one of the other really crappy guys because disco is a 90 overall and these people are 74 overall as well and one last example here this is the best way that i found to get steals once they inbound the ball just try and run across their body get a nice little bump steal just like that and it's get assists as well too so then you can get your takeover and you'll also work on the extender perk at the same time if you have that unlocked while you're grinding this so you can definitely work on two badge perks two takeover perks at the same time so once again hold triangle make them cut you can get your takeover activate your takeover and then try and blitz them on this ball hand side just like that get those easy steals and like i said it will take a long time but it is doable and for the blocks part of this it's very simple once again you just want to play against disco they got five foot ten players just bait them into driving and you'll be able to block them no problem even with the dummy build with 70 block rating and 70 interior defense rating even if you want to increase your interior defense up a little bit to get that bronze anchor it'll help you out a little bit as well too now if you have a center build already this is going to be extremely easy easy for you to get it's just those dang 60 steals see right there they're going to drive in everything just sag off them make them drive in think them they have a lane you're going to get blocks like that no problem and i did increase my interior defense a little bit so i could get that bronze anchor to help me out and disco will make some pretty Pretty crazy layups and dunks so i wanted to make a miss and it, that definitely helped with the well defended fast breaks as well too so you just let them drive like you're gonna get some easy blocks like nobody on this team is bigger than six feet tall so all you have to do is bait them into there and it's gonna be no problem for you to get 40 blocks it's definitely a lot easier to get 40 blocks in these guys than it is 40 steals against anybody else so once the, and you can definitely sag off of these guys they can't really shoot that good so again bait them into there try and press triangle i got a good shot contest you're not going to get a block every single time but sag off of them make them think they have a lane and sometimes disco will dunk on you but it's really easy to get those blocks compared to the steals and the fast well defended fast break attempts so once again you can sag off of him make him think he can drive in he's going to come in you can press triangle and jump like i said you're not going to get a block every single time but same thing you know the principle you know the idea once again very very simple to get this it's just the steals the steals take so much time Time and they are very tedious to get but once you do get it it is very 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 pleasing and like i said for the extender perk this is actually 75 assists and you can use this build for it no problem it is super easy to get assists with this so once again load up against disco pick your teammates this one really doesn't matter if you're going to go for assists only i would recommend matching yourself up against disco because this way these other two guys can cut against the 74 and the 75 overall and they have a very hard time stopping the cut so it's very easy to get assists in this you want to attack the 70 overall players on the right side you can see disco he's guarding the guy in the 
corner and I have a 70 overall guarding my guy on the left. So all I want to do is point the left stick towards the left side and hold triangle. It's going to make him cut. And once he gets past his defender, let go of triangle and he should be able to take up a wide open layup. Unfortunately, he misses right there, but just keep spamming it. He will eventually get it. And you can get 11 assists per game if you want. So it will take you eight games to get those 75 assists if that's all you're farming. It is incredibly easy though. So once again, just get the top, the ball at the top of the three. I have Disco guarding me, so I can send either one of them to cut. Old triangle, he's gonna get by him just like that. They don't take it up every single time and they will miss it like that. You can just get back and play some defense. So once again, I got Disco on me. I can send the dude on the left to cut. He gets by him, let go of triangle, and it's an easy dunk every single time. It, there really isn't any much more to this. And like I said, that's why I put 99 pass accuracy so I can still get a high pass accuracy and be able to finish this challenge no problem. And it comes with dimer as well too, so that's extremely nice. So that will help you out as well too. We'll just do one final assist here because there really isn't too much to explain to this. Just hold triangle angle wait till he gets past him he'll take it up and he's gonna make it every single time and get 75 assists that way it's super easy so all of those challenges were completed on the six foot eight dummy build and i completed all the other ones on my seven foot one diming interior threat so to get the sponge perk which is actually a very very good perk it's kind of like accelerator but you get it based off your other teammates so it's recruit three street ball bosses your team so you just got to play the street ball games beat all three courts and this will allow you to get this perk pretty easy nothing to really show or explain there but i just want to show you guys every single perk and how to get them and for the second chance perk it's pretty simple all you need is a combined 50 points rebounds assists, blocks and steals and so the thing about brickley's gym is the 3v3 Three is during the week and the 5v5 is during the weekend. Now what you can do is keep making new builds and this should allow you access to Brickley's gym so you can complete these 50 no problem. Again really not much to show here but for some people Brickley's gym was closed but what you want to do is make a new build and then play the 3v3 or 5v5 and then you can delete that player make a new one again and just keep doing that until you get the 50 and you will get the second chance perk. Decelerator perk pretty much the exact same thing that I was talking about the second chance during the week go ahead and complete the 3v3 scrimmage you don't need to win you just need to complete it and then on the weekends it will open up the 5v5 scrimmage so fortunately i was able to get the 5v5 in on sunday and then monday morning Brickley's gym was open and it was 3v3 and I was able to get the decelerator purchase like that. Again, not much to really show here, but again, if you don't have access to the Brickley's gym, make a new build, new dummy build, play the 3v3, wait till the weekend and then play the 5v5. And if it's closed for you, just make another build and try it again. And the stay warm perk. So once I beat this challenge, then I was able to get the extender perk challenge. This one is actually pretty easy. So it's six field gold attempts, 80% field gold or better. And you can do this with the dummy build. I will show you how to do it. You just have to get inside, play against Disco and his crappy teammates, get matched up against them. And then you can basically just take it up on them in the paint and you'll win no problem. So once again, you want to play against Disco for this challenge and you can pick your teammates, whoever you want. That doesn't really matter. And I'd recommend switching the matchup. So the 74 has to guard you and they are tiny. Five foot seven, five foot 10 and five foot eight. So you can take up pretty much anything on them. You are six foot eight. You'll be you'll be able to make pretty much anything. Basically, what you can do: come and set a pick, or you can post up, drop step him, pump fake, go up with it, and you will make it. Like I said, they're five foot ten at the tallest, so they're not going to be able to get very many contests on you. You can do that pretty much every single time, or you can set a pick and roll. Just get under open underneath the net and take it up. It's really really easy. Once again, drop step, go up with it, easy make. Even he did he did get a contest there. I still made it over him. I'm six foot eight. He's five foot ten. I have a 25 close shot. We're still making it. Sometimes you can even beat him on the cut. They just toss it down to you like that. You can just take it up. Once again, I'm three for three already. I just need three more buckets, and then we can start passing it. We don't even have to win the game. We can win the game if we want, but all you need to go is at least five of six. We get a rebound, we can come down the court. We can try and beat them down the court if we can as well too, or we can just dish it off to our teammates. Just try and get open down low. We can even get some buckets in the fast break. My teammate just chucked it up to me. We can post this guy up. We got a little bit of strength. Unfortunately, I don't have any stamina right now so you might want to keep an eye on that so you don't force up anything and miss it but you can you are allowed one miss so once again pump fake i don't like the angle of that still went in somehow like i said six foot eight versus five foot ten it should be money and even then you can activate your finishing takeover to make sure you can get those next two buckets no problem you can try pick and roll you can set a pick for my teammate it might open me up i'm open down low again little guy on me he's got no chance down there all i need is one more field goal attempt 
and that's it. Then we can start passing the ball, letting our teammates score every single other point. So I get a nice little defensive rebound. We're trying to go coast to coast up the court. Doesn't quite work, but we'll try and beat my guy on a cut right here. We get pretty deep down there. Again, I'm not getting great animations down here, so unfortunately not working, but we are able to force it up over two of them, get our six for six, and now we do not need to shoot another shot. We can do what I just showed you guys, whole triangle, make our teammates cut, and get easy assists if you still need that Tyrese Halliburton challenge. So like I said, we get the rebound, you can come down here, you can wait, make your guy cut, get some nice little open lane, do that every single time, play some defense, go for your steals, well contested shots, you can even do your fast break contests and start working on that. So there's lots of ways you can work on multiple challenges in one game. But this is all you need to do 10 times and it's very doable with the 68 overall or 67 overall 6 foot 8 block. Once again, just a nice little take right there by John, I think his name is, and we are on our well way to winning this game. So very simple right there, you just have to do that 10 times, it is time consuming once again. That's pretty much the bottom line of this stuff. It's really not that hard to get, but it's just a well defended fast breaks and the steals it takes so long because they are a little bit harder to get but everything else is very doable and not that hard it's just time consuming and like i said we don't need to win this game so even if you do end up losing we have an 18-6 lead that doesn't matter just keep your field goal percentage once you hit that six shots and 80 percent or better you're good to go and lastly for the minimizer takeover perk we just need three stars in the art of shooting now you obviously need a shooting build for that so if you don't have a shooting build maybe you want to make a dummy one with a little bit of a mid-range or a three-pointer whatever you want but i'm sure most people's main builds do have some type of shooting so all you need to do is get three stars if you do have a high close shot and nothing else you can actually do post hooks from the mid-range it is a little bit hard to get sometimes because it does do fadeaways at times and if this gym is closed and you want to make a new build and you will have to increase your mid-range and then this facility will open up for you and you will be able to get the minimizer perk. So I'm on my seven foot one diamond interior threat and I've already done the art of shooting drill for this week. So as you can see, I can't talk to anybody in here, but I'll hop on my dummy build that I haven't done it with. And I'll show you guys, you will be able to talk to lethal shooter and you will have an opportunity to get those three stars. And so as you can see here, I am on my dummy build in front of the, the art of shooting facility right here. And we're gonna go and hop in here. See, and this will pop up on every single one of your new builds. So you can get your lethal zones or hot zones, whatever like that, and you will be able able to talk to lethal shooter but of course make sure you have a mid-range or a three-pointer so you might want to make another dummy build that has a mid-range or a three-pointer so you can get three stars in the drill but then just like that easy money no problem and finally for the Mamba mentality perk, what we need to do is complete the Decelerator quest, the Minimizer quest, and the second chance quest at Brickley's Gym. So the Decelerator is just to play the 3v3 scrimmages and the 5v5 scrimmages. And the second chance perk is to just get 50 combined points, rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks. So now, like I said, the 3v3 is available during the week and the 5v5 is available during the weekend. So if you're watching this now, some of you will probably have to wait until the weekend to get the 5v5 done. And sometimes Chris Brickley's gym is closed, but like I said, you just need to make a new player and all you have to do is complete the scrimmages. You don't need to win them or anything like that. You just need to complete them. So I am on a build that already completed these scrimmages and it actually does let us go into the gym now. I think that might've been a bug, but I think it's fixed now. But even then, if it doesn't let you into the gym, just go ahead and make a new build. It does let me talk to him right now so I can do the 3v3 scrimmages. And I also think maybe because I am a rookie three, which part of the perks is there an access to extra badge improving drills after completing games in the record city. So I'm not sure if that after every single game that unlocks Brickley's gym. But again, if it doesn't let you do this, you just have to make a new player, complete the 3v3 during the week, wait until the weekend, and then you can do the 5v5. And then the other 50 points, rebounds, assists, and everything like that, that's pretty self-explanatory. Through playing those two games, you should be pretty close to getting them if you're dominant enough. And for the last one, the minimizer perk, all we need to do is get three stars at the Art of Shooting Gym facility, facility drill. So that's again really easy. Just put a bit of shooting on your build, hit those shots, get that three stars, and you got mama mentality. The only thing is, you just have to wait for the 3v3 and the 5v5. It's super easy to get mama mentality. It's just Brickley's gym was glitched and it was closed for everybody, and now it's open. And if you just make a new build, if it is closed, then it 
it should reopen up for you. So again, it's just a matter of waiting for Brickley's gem to open up the 3v3 and the 5v5. Otherwise, it's super easy to get Mamba mentality. It was just causing problems when Brickley's gym was closed. But now that it's open, we got the 3v3. You wait till Friday or Saturday, do that 5v5. You can get that perk done, get your 50 points, rebounds, steals, assists, whatever it is. Get three stars at the shooting facility and we're all good to go. And then you'll have Mamba mentality. You'll have every single takeover perk in the game, including Accelerator. And then once you have all nine of those takeover perks unlocked, then you will get the Accelerator takeover perk, which is going to be extremely OP this year. So I showed you guys a little bit of tips and tricks and kind of talked through each of the nine takeover perks. So hopefully that helps you guys and hopefully you're able to get the Accelerator perk. It does take a day or two. Like it, it is very time consuming getting this, but in the end, I believe it will be worth it. And then you're going to have this on every single build you make forward and that you have made. So it'll definitely push your build to the limits and up your game. So there we have it. Tips, tricks, methods to get every single takeover perk in the game, including juice perk, accelerator, and mamba mentality. And we do show you guys how to get the juice perk. Very simple to win 20 games, but you just have to beat that suppressor perk challenge and then it will unlock the juice perk. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If it did, make sure you drop a like. And if you're new, hit that sub too. I really hope this video does help you guys out. So make sure you show it some love if it did. Appreciate you guys tuning in once again. We'll talk to you later. Peace. Stars are